fried chicken. Hmm. Do they provide meatless option? Let me check. Wow, they do. But I wonder what are these meatless options made of? Let's find out. We are now at Kuhn Singapore and we have the commercial director Christopher Lee with us here today. Welcome to the show, Chris. Hi, hi everyone. Can you share with us why are we seeing more meat alternatives in the market nowadays? If you look at the marketplace itself, it's pretty much fragmented. But the good thing is that the younger generation that makes up majority of the flexitarian market are moving into this direction, which is a healthier option and an option that is sustainable for the planet. But nonetheless, they are still looking at food that is delicious in, in their plate. There is also a forecast that says that in 2020, uh, 2050, uh, there may be a shortage of food being able to cater for the poor population. So I think uh, we have to act now. We have to look for alternative. We have to look for a sustainable way to feed the population. So I think the main key point is that we have to change our dietary options from now on. So I wonder what are the ingredients in corn and how does it benefit to us? In the marketplace itself, if you look at the protein source, there are three big sources of protein, namely number one, the animal-based protein, number two, the, the plant-based protein, number three, fungi-based protein. And microprotein, which is the main ingredient for corn products, sits in the fungi-based protein. Most of us would have known that fungi has been always a very nutritional item. Uh, things like uh, lingzi, uh, things like uh, truffles, they are actually in the fungi kingdom. So microprotein is good for the health, it's good for your body. Now, number one, we talk about high protein. We are talking about 18 grams per 100 grams of microprotein. High fiber is 7 grams of fiber per 100 grams of microprotein. 7 grams is equivalent to 2.5 cups of broccoli fiber, which is very high. And um, we are talking about also um, low saturated fats as well as zero cholesterol for the microprotein. In terms of uh, carbon footprint, uh, we are 90% lesser compared to the beef production. So it's extremely sustainable and healthy for the planet. That sounds amazing! That's not only high in nutritional values, friendly to our environment, and it's also delicious. I can't wait to taste the food. So, let's go! Ta -da! Here comes our food. We have nuggets, chicken rice, and sweet and sour delight. These are actually all common dishes in Singapore. If you just look at the appearance, you won't tell any difference from right. other. Let's have the nuggets first, shall sure. we? Wow. For the nuggets, right, I actually tried before because my housemate bought it from NCUC. Right. And that really amazed me because no matter the fragrance, the texture. The only difference between uh, the corn nuggets and the real chicken nugget is that it's made from microprotein and it's meat free. Now, one piece of nugget is about 2 grams of protein and 1.5 grams of fiber. So you actually have the best of both worlds in terms of protein and fiber in one nugget. Unlike the meat nugget, the chicken nugget that only has protein but do not have fiber. I think serving healthy and sustainable food is important for the future, but it has to taste good. Because if the moment the food doesn't taste delicious, generally people will probably take one or twice and then they will go back to, to their dietary plan. So it defeats that purpose. So having a healthy, sustainable and delicious food has to be in the same, the same pot before serving up. As we all love and enjoy delicious food, so like the chicken rice, I believe my family will enjoy this although they are not vegetarians. Right. What, what corn is inspired to do is actually to provide food for the flexitarian. Uh, we believe in a balanced diet. Uh, there is a place, there is a time for everything. Uh, you know, we, we are not trying to convert all the meat eater into, into a meat-free diet, but there must be a balanced diet uh, across uh, the diet plan. So what we want to do and what corn is inspired to do from an Asian standpoint is really to provide Asian corn dishes in the market for people to enjoy with their friends or relatives or colleagues. Now, one of the, the difficulties we see is that whenever there is a meat eater and a vegetarian or vegan group of friends that comes together and want to have a meal, uh, they struggle. What we want to really to 
to do uh, is really to have a restaurant that serves both the vegetarian and the meat uh, in a very delicious, dishes manner. So currently, we have about 200 uh, restaurants that's carrying corn into their menu uh, in the, in the F&B sector. So uh, we are definitely looking at expanding more to provide options or healthier menu for, for, for their F&B customers. So all corn products are selling in the supermarket as well. So you can actually buy the corn ingredient skills that consists of the mince, the pieces, the filet, and you can do your cook up in, at home to serve to your family. So do you foresee this to be the dietary trend in future? Personally, I think it's here to stay. Uh, like I say, uh, the, the progress of it is, is a bit slow in Asia. But I think we will get there. We have, the Asian region has been eating vegetarian for, for probably the last 30 to 50 years. So for them to do a big change, it takes time. And uh, the perceived value of vegetarian to the Asian market has always been unhealthy, oily, and very negative. So it takes time for them to change that there actually there is another source of protein that's out in the market that is more sustainable and healthy. Yeah. So can I conclude that in terms of sustainability, no matter is for our health, for the environment, uh, we have to make this change. Yes, personally I think uh, it's a good change uh, and um, that also actually makes the, my job uh, very valuable and, um, and, and I love it because we are making a change to the environment and the people. Yeah. Wow, looks so yummy! I must share with my friends. Yes. Going plant-based diet is not boring at all, and eat healthily doesn't mean that you need to compromise the taste. It's actually not as difficult as you think. So why don't you give it a try?